When people are allergic, it's amazing how many people have exercise-induced asthma. They may not have asthma all the time. They may not even know they have asthma. What happens when people exercise longer than seven minutes, their airway can go into spasm. They feel a tightness in the chest, smothering, cough, uh, shortness of breath, and they have to stop running and they're left with coughing for an hour and a half. It's not just running and getting short of breath, it's running and getting bronchospasm. What's happening with that? Well, what happens when we run, we breathe fast and deep. And so we're going, <sighs> if that cools the airway, the airway can go into spasm and can cause an episode of asthma. Exercise-induced asthma usually occurs when the weather is cold, less than 55 degrees Fahrenheit, and when the humidity is also low, uh, a day of low, dry, cold air. You breathe in dry, cold air, and you may find that a lot of people have cough. Uh, trained athletes, when they train in real cold, dry air, will get a cough, they'll get some lung irritation. But people who are allergic especially, and people that have exercise-induced asthma, when they exercise in cold, dry air, they'll get cough, wheeze, and shortness of breath. Good news? There are things that we can do about it that are wonderful. You can simply use an inhaler we call a reliever. It's albuterol. Uh, now albuterol is Proventil or Ventolin or Maxair or Zopinex. Uh, these are Proair. Uh, these are excellent relievers. They begin to work in five minutes. They're working at their maximum in 15 minutes and last four to five hours. So 20 minutes before exercise, you take two puffs of your inhaler and you go out and exercise and have a good time and your exercise-induced asthma won't be there. It'll be fun to exercise again. As a matter of fact, Jim Ryan, uh, the first sub four-minute miler in the United States had bronchial asthma. He simply used his inhaler before he trained, before he ran, before he competed, and asthma wasn't part of his life because of his inhaler. So no, the, you and I can go out and exercise and not worry about wheezing if we simply use our inhaler before we exercise.